This morning on The Dish, a Houston chef who's earning a Texas-sized reputation. Growing up in Oklahoma, Chris Shepard's first hospitality job was washing dishes in a Japanese restaurant. Then the tempura chef position opened up, and before long, he was hooked. Making his way to Houston, Shepard eventually opened Underbelly, an ode to the city's immigrant cuisine, winning a 2014 James Beard Award for Best Chef Southwest. Well, now he's moved on, opening Georgia James, UB Preserve, and one-fifth. And this year, won another top honor. The Rob Report named him their Worldwide Chef of the Year. And his very first cookbook, Cook Like a Local, came out in September. Chris Shepard, good morning and welcome to The Dish. Right. Holy so smokes, man, you win a lot of awards. <laughs> <laughs> you win a lot of books. It's, uh, it's interesting. And yeah. you have a lot of food. Yeah. What do we have here? <laughs> so um, we just wanted to go a couple of things from the book, um, but it kind of shows the diversity of our city. Uh, so a little japchae over on the other side, which is just a Korean sweet potato noodle dish. Um, kind of a Szechuan style eggplant dish. And then something that's really kind of key to our city. Um, well, fajitas always, but yeah. uh, just done in a, the Vietnamese style. So uh, marinade of fish sauce and, and chilies, and then you just basically wrap it up into a little bit of lettuce. Uh, roasted butternut squash with bacon jam and granola, and then green curry pancakes with uh, sweet soy syrup and and, and, and oh. waiting pool yeah. which is oh. uh, kind of a tiki drink um, tiki spices and passion fruit and cheers. 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 cheers cheers to that cheers, sir. jeff you. mentioned all the all the awards but i want to start with the book because in it it's not just the recipes you also talk a lot about these immigrant populations and yeah. their food and why it's so important what what draw you what drew you to that i should say it was learning more about our city um, and so when we started talking about the book we a lot of times people focus on when we talk about local the aspect of local food, mm -hmm. right? Okay, where are your apples from? Where are your lettuces yeah. from? But what we wanted to focus on is the cultures that exist into your city and learning more from that. And so you can be part of your community and learn and celebrate everybody. You went as far as Vietnam to really sort of flesh all of that out. Yeah, I, we, we decided that we needed to take a trip to Vietnam so I could learn more about Houston. Because um, yeah, that's, that's a lot of I mean, how great is that? It is. We have one of the largest Vietnamese populations in the city, and I wanted to know where is that going now? And so it was, uh, we spent a couple weeks going up and down and um, really learned a lot about Houston. It's one thing I think people outside Houston, a lot of people don't understand is first, how diverse Houston yeah. is, and second, how great the food is, yeah. including yeah. that over there. <laughs> Can you talk more about that? So it was one of these things that's like, we wanted to do this dish, and I was talking to my pastry chef, and I was like, stack I really like green curry, and I think it'd be really delicious in pancakes. Mm. And then if you do, um, and she was like, well, what kind of syrup is this based on? I was like, well, sweet soy. Um, it, you know, it's naturally sweet, but a little bit of salt, and then just like put a lot of lime zest and citrus into it, and then candied peanuts, and it's just, it's one of those perfect desserts. And when you talk about all the different foods in Houston, mm -hmm. one of your restaurants that's so fascinating, One Fifth, mm -hmm. each year it's been a different cuisine. You're on your fourth now, fourth, is that yeah. right? Isn't there temptation at the end of each year to keep it going, or how have you been able to manage that? Like, if it's working, why not keep it going? You know, it was it was the uh, idea that it would be the playground to figure out what we wanted to do next. Um, what was the next restaurant? And it was the opportunity that you don't normally get. You spend a lot of money into a restaurant, and you hope it really works. Well, this mm -hmm. we could see by running it for 11 months. Does it is it good? Is it going to work? Do, yeah. do we do this in the future? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, we just did the Eastern Mediterranean was really popular and successful, but it was hard to change, but we had to go, you know, you gotta keep it going. It's Gulf Coast right now, but I really love that one too. And then year five, I have to make a decision here pretty soon. Yeah, you do. But I have no clue. <laughs> I love it. Oh, like, What's the next yeah. one? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> How do you decide that then? Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's talking to the chef, talking to the staff, talking to everybody there. And seeing what they're passionate about, because if, they're, if nobody's passionate about it, then it just doesn't work. Is that how you maintain quality and control as you expand and open new places? It's just passion. Yeah, it's if you can you you can't teach heart, and that's what we talk about all the time when we go through hiring processes and how we how we talk about our staff. And you can't teach heart. You can teach everything else, but you just can't teach the intangible um, of really caring and wanting to learn and wanting to do better and wanting to you know. Uh, be good with your staff and be good with your clients. I'm gonna have you sign our yeah, dish. Absolutely. And if you could have this meal with anyone, past or present, who would it be? You guys right now? Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. I love that. Oh, that is nice. Wait a minute, have we heard that one before? It's a, a second. I'm a very big, a second. Like, be it's a in second. the moment. Yeah, be yes. Right now. And so, um, 
I think this is a perfect setting for what we're doing. Fantastic. Go ahead and sign. And thank you so much, Chris. We appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. If you want more on Chris Shepard or The Dish, you can head to our website, cbsthismorning.com.